stand before you this morning because the grand opening of our Aerospace Museum has finally arrived. The Black Wings Children Museum was named after the famous book, Black Wings, which highlights the history and contributions of African Americans in aviation and aerospace. From Bessie Coleman to the Tuskegee Airmen, to Mae Jameson, for example, who was the first African American woman astronaut, our students will now have the opportunity to learn about the lives and experiences of these American heroes and many, many more. Good morning. My name is Dr. Baby. You know, it's strange when you uh, come to give a talk somewhere, you sometimes uh, feel a little nervous, a little whatever, but uh, I just have to tell you in front, my son and daughter both attended Windsor Hills Math and Aerospace Science Management School. My son is an upstanding member of the community, scout leader, my daughter is currently attending MIT, majoring in physics and nuclear engineering. And what does that mean for you guys? That means if you do the same thing that my children did that came from Winter Hills, which means to work hard, study hard, have a vision that you too can achieve what it is you'd like to achieve. Modern technology was revolutionized by the invention of the airplane at the beginning of the 20th century. It was off limits to African Americans. This is our story. The first was Eugene Bullard. He flew for France and left the Hills legacy. Then came Betsy Coleman, a pioneering barnstormer, a passion that took her to France in order to receive her pilot's license. Everyone started to take notice, looked up to watch loops and spin. Congress created the Civil Pilot Training Program and the Tuskegee Institute participated by increasing black pilots. Benjamin O. Davis Jr. graduated from West Point in 1936. He was assigned to Tuskegee. The decision to admit blacks to the Air Force became known as the experiment. Eleanor Roosevelt worked tirelessly to promote racial equality and took a plane ride with Red Tail Charles Anderson at Tuskegee. She sent a message of confidence and it carried a great symbolic value. April 1943, the 99th Fighter Squadron of Davidson Command finally departed from North Africa. Benjamin O. Davis was the commander of the 99th and 332nd Fighter Group, which escorted bombers on air combat missions over Europe. The first African American general in the United States Air Force. The tally for the war was impressive. 111 enemy aircraft down in air combat, another 150 on the ground. At the age of World War II, the great number of black pilots with considerable experience turned their eyes toward careers in commercial aviation. They were blocked. Eleven years later, Perrin Jr. was the first African American person to be hired by a commercial airline. In 1965, Martin Queen had to sue all the way to Supreme Court. They led the way for people like Janine McIntosh to become the first black female aviator in the U.S. Coast Guard. Soon we look higher in the sky. Rocketry into outer space. Francis D. George joined the NASA program in 1978. He was one of the first African Americans to command a space shuttle flight. Gordon God Luper was the first to fly in the space shuttle program. Mae Jamison flew in Denver in 1992, completing 127 orbits of the Earth. And the current administrator of NASA is the top job, Charles Bolton Jr., an African American pilot and general. And then there are the countless engineers and aerospace workers who go to fly on the ship. We can't tell the whole story, but we will tell it. The Black Wing Children Museum tells our story. The take and continue. Good morning, everyone.
everyone. I must be in the wrong place. Good morning, everyone. My name is James Westbrooks, and I'm here on behalf of State Senator Curran Price, who is your representative in Sacramento. It is my pleasure to join with all you lovely kids today. And I have a certificate of recognition I want to give to Windsor Hills Elementary School. And I'm going to read it for everyone. It's from the state of California. And it reads, it's presented to Windsor Hills Magnet Elementary School in honor of the grand opening of the Black Wings Children's Museum. Congratulations and best wishes for a joyous and memorable event. Signed, Senator Curran Price of the 26th Senate District. Open on this day of Wednesday, October 